All right, well, so we're going to be finding the proportional relationship here. And a proportional relationship is essentially what you have to multiply x by to get y. So you have to multiply x by something to get y each time. And what is that thing? And that's what this is, right? y equals something times x. And you have a bunch of examples here to pick from. You could use any of them. I mean, this one won't help you, right? 0 equals anything times 0, so it's going to be too general. But 1 equals, or y equals 7 times 1. 14 equals 7 times 2. And 21 equals 7 times 3. Right? So you could actually just even look at this one and say, oh, it's going to be 7 y equals 7 times x. Okay, and again, 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16. So the answer is 4. And you're starting to see that you can kind of just look at the thing next to the 1. If there is a 1 on the table, you can just look at the thing next to the 1. So, you know, let's use that trick. What's the thing next to the 1? 4, which means that it's times 4. Thing next to the 1? 5, so it's times 5. If you want to check with something else, go ahead. What's 3 times 5? 15. Fantastic. And, you know, sometimes, they, you know, they might try to trick you and not put a 1 here, right? In which case, you can't just be like, oh, 10, right? You have to say 10 divided by 2, right? 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Or you could say 20 divided by 4 equals 5. But any way you slice it, it's going to be 5. Okay. It's hard not to use the trick, right? I mean, it's just staring us in the face. We have to be disciplined. But sometimes, you know, sometimes it's hard to be disciplined. 2, 1, we'll go ahead, we'll write out the steps. 2 divided by 1 equals 2. 4 divided by 2 equals 2. We could also do 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So we've got 2. Okay, same, same question, but with more fun answer options. I like these big circles. They make me happy. Uh, so what do we have here? We've got y equals 1 times x, right? Or just y equals x, right? We know 1 times x is just x, right? So y equals x. Yeah, the, the x and the y are always the same. That makes sense. Well, that looks like this choice. How about this? Okay, what's next to the x? x is 1, y is 3. What are we multiplying by? 3. Okay, when x is 1, y is 6, so we're multiplying by 6. When x is 2, y is 12, so we're multiplying by 6. Another, you know, another observation is every time x goes up by 1, y goes up by 6. Right? It's plus 6 plus 6 every time, right? So it's another way to see the 6. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, so same idea. Um, 13 divided by 1 is 13. 
say 39 divided by 3 is 13. So y equals 13x. Okay, guys, I think that was a pretty short one. It's fun. Um, you know, where might you see something like this? You might see it with pounds and kilograms. And actually, let's do it the other way. Let's do it with kilograms. No, that's the way I just did it. Kilograms and pounds. So you might say, let's just say, I mean, this isn't exactly right, but let's just say one kilogram is like two pounds. Well, then two kilograms is four pounds, et cetera, et cetera, right? So what, what we're really getting at is a relationship between one measurement and another measurement. Okay. Have a great day.